I don't know if you got a chance to notice this or not, but whenever a new LLM or a large language model is released, the one thing that every organization that has released the LLM will obviously talk about beating the benchmarks of the previous models. Have you ever thought of what these benchmarks are? Like what is MMLU? What is GSM 8K benchmark? What is MBPP benchmark? So confusing, right? So which made me think, let me create a video around this so that I can simplify the understanding of these benchmarks. And once a new LLM releases, and if you have a LLM based use case, then you can decide which benchmark are you actually chasing for. Say for example, there is a coding related task which is where you would feel that one benchmark is more important to you as compared to the other. How do you decide this is what I'll try to decipher in this particular video. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. Let's start with the first benchmark that is MMLU, which is Massive Multitask Language Understanding Benchmark. This benchmark falls into the category of language understanding where the idea is how good does an LLM truly get the nuance of language whether it's finding specific information or demonstrating broader comprehension. MMLU benchmark features over 15,000 questions across 57 diverse tasks as you can see here in the dataset that I'm showing you. So if I click on astronomy, you can see a sample dataset here. What it does is basically aims for a comprehensive evaluation. Questions go beyond simple factual recall, they require reasoning, problem solving and an ability to understand specialized topics. So let me now break down the MMLU offerings into various categories. Firstly, it is multitasking. It assesses the LLM's ability to understand and apply knowledge across a wide range of subjects, covering around 57 areas like maths, history, law and ethics. The questions are presented in a multiple choice format, making it easier for evaluating the LLM's understanding capabilities. Now, how does the scoring happen? Well, the MMLU benchmark assigns scores based on the LLM's performance in each subject categories. The overall final scores are then averaged out to provide a final MMLU score, offering a holistic view of how well the LLM is performing across various categories. Now there are some noticeable strengths that you can find with the MMLU benchmark. One of the strengths is that it is more challenging as compared to the other benchmarks that are available at this point. Given the entire benchmark basically averages out the scores across different categories or subjects, it basically identifies areas where the LLM needs improvement. Let's now move on to the next benchmark which is Hella Swag. Hella Swag is an acronym for Harder Endings, Longer Context and Low Shot Activities for Situations with Adversarial Generations. The way you should understand this particular benchmark is this benchmark specifically targets a large language model's ability to reason using common sense. How does it go about doing this particular activity? Well, it's mostly focused on a sentence completion task. Hella Swag presents the LLM with incomplete sentences and then it asks the LLM to choose the most logical ending from a set of four options. You have the incomplete sentence. And then you have four other options which is the ending sequence and the LLM is then told to predict the correct sentence based on its reasoning or understanding. This benchmark is basically a 10 shot format benchmark. The 10 shot aspect refers to a specific evaluation setting where the LLM is shown 10 relevant examples before it's asked to complete the test sentences. This will basically help the LLM to understand the context and improve its performance. Now similar to MMLU, the scoring happens based on the proportion of correct answers that the LLM provides. So Hella Swag is a valuable tool for assessing how well LLMs understand and apply common sense knowledge in different situations that they are presented to. The next benchmark that I'll focus upon is again on reasoning which is the ARC challenge benchmark. The ARC challenge short benchmark also known as AI2 reasoning challenge is a question answering tool designed to evaluate a large language model's reasoning abilities. 
the way arc challenge works is that it gives llms a collection of complex multi part science questions which is grade school level and the llms need to apply scientific knowledge understand the cause and effect relationships and solve problem step by step to successfully tackle these challenges the entire benchmark is split into easy set and a challenge set arc helps us to see if a model is going beyond pattern matching and showcasing true logical reasoning capabilities so just to give you an example this is how the overall benchmark data set is so if you have a stem question like which technology was developed most recently so you have choices like cellular telephone television refrigerator and aeroplane or airplane then you also have the answer keys as well which is a so the llm is supposed to pick out the correct answer which it feels is correct so this is how the entire arc benchmark is designed now what are some of the unique abilities of the arc benchmark well it focuses on reasoning unlike benchmarks that test simple fact retrieval arc emphasizes an llm's ability to process information spread across multiple sentences and then answer questions that require reasoning and draw comparisons or connections it's very similar to mmlu and hella swag and arc presents questions in a multiple choice format with four options this allows for easier evaluations of the llm's understanding and selection of the most fitting answer it is heavily science focused so the data set consists around 7800 mcq questions ranging from 3rd to 9th grade difficulty the short format the short format refers to the number of relevant examples provided to the llm before the test questions are given to the llm so arc allows for evaluation with different short settings such as 25 short where the llm sees 25 examples before tackling the test questions Now what are the major merits of using the ARC short benchmark the entire shift of the LLM is to focus on reasoning it moves beyond simple fact retrieval which is a crucial step in assessing the true reasoning capabilities of LLMs it has multiple difficulty levels the varying difficulty levels within the science domain help evaluate an LLM's ability to handle different complexities standardized evaluation The use of a common data set and short format allows for comparison of different LLMs performance on the same set of task which is where it kind of standardizes the entire evaluation process for various LLMs across different categories. Let's talk about the next benchmark which is Wino Grand. Wino Grand is a benchmark specifically designed to evaluate an LLM's ability to understand pronouns and context in sentences. It's heavily inspired by the original Wino Grad schema challenge which is WSC but offers a larger and a more intricate data set. Here let's have a closer look at the Wino Grad benchmark. So as you can clearly see the objective of this particular benchmark is to find out the right pronouns and context in sentences. So if I pick up an example like the circuit failed to power the television but kept the radio going as the slash So here you have two options television and radio. So it's basically a benchmark to design to specifically check how good the LLM is able to understand the context and then filter out and give me the right output in terms of the pronoun that is missing in the sentence. Think of it as a pronoun completion benchmark. What is unique about Wino Grand? Well the benchmark challenges the LLMs to grasp the meaning of the pronouns based on the surrounding context. This is an important aspect of natural language understanding as pronouns can refer to different things depending on different situations. It's basically a fill in the blank format so you will have a missing place where you have to fill it with a pronoun which is what we've just seen. It has a large scale data set so it has around 44000 problems significantly larger than the original WSC challenge that was conducted. This vast data set helps assess the LLM's performance on various scenarios and pronoun usages. An obvious question that you would have is why should we use this particular benchmark? Well, it will test out core language understanding. By focusing on pronoun resolution, this benchmark goes beyond memorization and basically tests the LLM's ability to truly understand the meaning within a sentence. 
it identifies the limitations llms can sometimes struggle with pronoun related task and this benchmark will help you pinpoint these particular weaknesses in the llm it has a standardized evaluation the large publicly available data set allows researchers to compare the performance of different llms on the same set of challenges so once you have a standardized data set different llms can be compared using the same standard evaluation technique let's start with the next benchmark which is mbpp which is mostly basic python programming it's a benchmark designed to evaluate an llm's capability in generating short python code snippets from natural language descriptions as you can see in this particular benchmark you have a vast data set of 1000 python coding problems designed for beginner level programmers this benchmark will test the coding abilities of the llm and how well does it translate instructions to functional code this benchmark comprises of three integral components so you have the task description you have the correct code solutions and you have the test cases to verify the llm output the mbpp benchmark specifically targets the llm's ability to translate human written instructions into working python code This is very crucial for applications where LLMs can assist programmers or even automate basic coding tasks. The benchmark consists of around 1000 crowdsourced Python programming problems designed to be solvable by a beginner level programmer. Now I've already spoken about this but the entire structure of the MBPP is task description, a sample solution and a test case. Now why should you use MBPP benchmark? Well, it assesses the skills directly relevant to real world programming scenarios where LLMs might assist with basic coding tasks. The use of entry level problems ensures evaluation of core programming concepts and understanding. The data set or the benchmark is publicly available and automated tests allow for consistent evaluation and comparison of different LLMs. The next benchmark is GSM 8K benchmark. which stands for grade school math 8k it's a benchmark specifically designed to evaluate an llm's ability to solve problems in basic mathematics let's look at the benchmark so here is the benchmark where you have the question and the answer here is one example from the benchmark it takes rook 2 hours to walk to work and 1 hour to ride his bike to work and then you have the rest of the question correspondingly you have the answers as well So as you have seen the problems in the GSM 8K go beyond simple calculations and require LLMs to break down the problem identify steps and perform calculations to reach at the solution this assesses an LLM's ability to reason through problems very logically the benchmark has over 8500 high quality linguistically diverse word problems This vast data set ensures that the LLM is evaluated on a broad range of mathematical concepts and phrasings encountered in high school mathematics. Unlike other benchmarks that might involve creative text generation, this benchmark prioritizes obtaining the correct mathematical answers. Why should you even care about the GSM 8K benchmark? Well, it assesses the LLM to handle common educational task providing insights into its potential for educational applications. Multi-step reasoning is a crucial cognitive skill and GSM 8K helps in assessing this particular capability. The data set or the benchmark is publicly available so you can assess the performance of different LLMs on the same set of problems. Next up, we have the MT benchmark. MT benchmark stands for multi turn benchmark it is basically a benchmark specifically designed to evaluate an LLM's ability to manage conversation flow and follow instructions in multi turn dialogues so here is the benchmark you have a user and then you have assistant giving out response to the user based on the user's response the assistant will respond again and how well does it drive the conversation is where this benchmark comes into picture the focus is entirely on conversation unlike the other benchmarks that might test isolated questions this particular benchmark presents multi turn conversations with 80 carefully curated questions 
द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज फॉलोइंग इंस्ट्रक्शंस अ की फोकस ऑफ दिस बेंचमार्क इज टू इवेल्युएट हाउ वेल एन एल एल एम अंडरस्टैंड्स एंड फॉलोज इंस्ट्रक्शंस प्रोवाइडेड थ्रू आउट अ कॉन्वर्जेशन दिस इज वेरी क्रूशियल फॉर एन एल एल एम डिजाइन फॉर चैटबॉट्स और वर्चुअल असिस्टेंट्स डेप्थ ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द मल्टी टर्न फॉर्मैट अलाउज फॉर प्रूबिंग द एल एल एम्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग बियॉन्ड सिंपल वन शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन रिसर्चर्स कैन काइंड ऑफ असेस हाउ वेल द एल एल एम बिल्ड ऑन प्रीवियस इन्फॉर्मेशन और कॉन्टेक्सट एंड देन यूटिलाइज इट फॉर सब्सिक्वेंट रिस्पॉन्सिस well this is what i wanted to explain today i wanted to give you an overview of the different benchmarks that are available to evaluate llms if you are creating an llm application or if you are using a large language model for your use case chances are you might want a higher score in one benchmark and you would be okay with a not so good score in the other benchmark so this is where you can kind of decide which benchmark are you chasing for for your nlp application or for your llm application So well this is all that I had in today's video. I hope you found this video informative. If you do like the content that I create on my channel, it would be super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos that I create on generative AI, data science and machine learning. Thank you so much for watching the video.